So when you all think about life, do you think things happen for a reason or do you think things just happen because they happen? Like natural consequences of somebody's actions or that's just how things work. Hi, I'm Maddie and welcome to Beer in Beautiful Places. I don't have an adventure for you all this week, unfortunately, because of, because of a reason I'm gonna tell you in a second. So I apologize for that, but I have a story to tell you about why. Oh, do I have a story. So in the spirit of Beer in Beautiful Places, I am drinking a beer. This is Two Hearted Ale by Bell's Brewing. It is very tart, really light, very good beer. It's an American IPA, 7% ABV. And I need it. Okay, so our story begins. In California this summer, I had a job, the job was over and I was like, while I'm out here in California, you know, there's a lot more van life type things and places. So I'm gonna get solar panels installed before I go back east. Then I call them up and I'm like, hi, I want some solar panels. And they're like, okay, it'll be about a week for us to order it. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize this was something you had to order, but you know, that's me just not knowing the way things work. It actually takes about two weeks for it to come in. And then that Monday was Labor Day. And then Tuesday, they called me and I got an appointment for the next day, Wednesday. Then it actually took two days to install. So that Friday was when I actually took off. And the journey out west took me three days, but going back, for some reason, it took me four. Not really sure what the difference was, but okay be that way while i was on the way like halfway there a light came on my dashboard and if you watch my instagram stories or on facebook if you watch the like vertical screen that's like only stays up for 24 hours if you watch that in any capacity maybe you remember seeing me showing it and being like this is what's happening what do i do anyone out there and someone thank you if that someone was you was like why don't you try the gas cap so i did i tightened it and then the next day the lights went away perfect so i have this thing on my car that hooks in under the steering wheel it's called sprint drive and it's basically connecting your car to your phone and so it shows you like if any anything's happening there any diagnostic codes if you work with cars hopefully you know what that is but anyway it said b camshaft position and i was like i don't know what that is but all the lights are off and it's running fine so i just keep going my destination was to visit my aunt so we had lunch it was great but she was like while you're here you just want to stay the night instead of just keeping on driving a day. And I was like, you know, it'll put me behind a little bit, but I'm tired, so why not? The next day, I'm about to get on the road. Woo, going to Wisconsin, here we go. My dad texts me and he's like, hey, I really think you should get your thing looked at because it's still, the code was still there even though it was driving fine and the lights were off. Fine, dad, if it gets you off my back. No, not really, that's not. I would never speak to my father like that. I'm like, okay, I'll go to AutoZone because they can tell you what's wrong with your car for free. They basically hooked up a very similar diagnostic tool to what I already have. Actually, the first AutoZone I went to was closed, so I had to go to another one 10 minutes away. You know, it's just like, mm, I'm trying to get on the road here. So that wasn't very fun. They told me, yes, there is something wrong with it. And they, they were like super understaffed. You know, with the whole people not wanting to work for like not a lot of money anymore. Um, you know, that's just what happens. So if any AutoZone employees are watching, maybe you should raise your employees wage so you get more people working there. Anyway, I digress. Where are we? At AutoZone. And so I didn't really find out what exactly was wrong with it because I was like, mm, don't even bother explaining. I'll just 
go ahead and go to the mechanic because honestly it's gonna go in one ear and out the other because I don't know anything about cars. I typed in mechanic near me. Go to the first one and it's just like a parking lot in a building and there was no one around for me to be like, hey, is this the mechanic? And I, it was just a weird vibe over there. So I was like, okay, another mechanic near me. The second one I went to, they were actually there. So good sign, but they were like, okay, yeah, we'll take it back. Just have a seat in our waiting room. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm really good at killing time. Every single night I look at my phone and all of a sudden I start at nine and then it's midnight and I need to go to bed. So yeah, I'm great at wasting time. The whole day passes. Despite me being great at wasting time, still it felt like it was taking forever. They were like, we couldn't get it done today, but come back tomorrow and it'll be ready for you. And I was like, oh my gosh, like a whole nother day. Like I wanted to go, but okay, whatever. So I come back the next day and it's ready. I get in my car and I'm like, yes, we're going, let's go. I look at my sprint drive and they're like camshaft B position. And I was like, oh my gosh. I go back in, I'm like, guys, it's the same problem. They're like, oh, okay, well, well, we'll look at it, we'll look at it. So this is day two. And at the end of day two, they say to me, okay, so here's the problem. Your engine has two parts and on each of the part, it has a VVT, two VVTs. And yesterday we replaced one VVT. Today we replaced the other because we're thinking they're not all working perfectly together. It's still not working. So we're gonna try to either, we're gonna replace our, all four VVTs. Okay, like if that's what you gotta do, but that meant spending a whole nother day. So day three comes and goes. And finally, they're like, okay, your car is done. Great, and I'm like, yes, getting on the road. I actually got out of the mechanic parking lot that time. What should happen? Oh, I get mad just thinking about it, but I'm driving down the road, go over a railroad track, and that bump makes the same lights on the dashboard turn back on again. And so I look at Sprint Drive and it says, a camshaft position and I'm like oh my gosh you're kidding me I thought I was home free the next day is Saturday and I get there first thing and they're like oh okay we'll take a look at it all day Saturday passes and at the end of the day they call me and they say we figured it out it's your timing chain at first I thought they were saying Tommy chain and I was like, that doesn't really sound like a thing, but okay. So the next day was Sunday and no one was working on Sunday. You know, they gotta have their day off too. But for me, I was just like, oh, just another day going out the window, another day in my life passing me by. So Monday I start calling people because I'm like, I need to get this done. I've already given this other mechanic shop four days of my time. I'm just gonna try my other options. While I was calling a Toyota dealer and I was like, the Tommy chain needs to be adjusted. The timing chain doesn't really, couldn't really be adjusted on a Sienna. You see, they're not really made like that. Like that's just not a thing. That's when I knew these other guys definitely did not know what they were talking about. Maybe they did and they just made a simple mistake, but I, I'm just wary of them. So I don't think I'm going back there anymore. That was Monday and all day I'm waiting on people to call me back. I'm calling um, different mechanics that have been recommended. I'm calling people and finally I get in at um, the Toyota dealership. I know that's gonna be pretty expensive, but I'm like, oh, I need someone to fix this already. So I go to the Toyota de dealership and they're like, oh great, you can just have a seat in our waiting room. We'll be right with you. And I was like, I have a feeling you won't be right with me. This problem is so complicated and it takes forever. They say they have to have it overnight and I'm like, okay, cool. I kind of saw that coming. The next day is Tuesday and that's today. Damn, I'm filming this. The problem that they figured out was that in the oil, there's some debris, some sediment, some stuff that could have been because I um, forgot 
when I needed to get my oil changed this summer and kind of let it go a few weeks or a few, I don't really remember, a long time without um, getting an oil change. I did eventually, but that delay probably wasn't good for it. So I'm thinking that's why it got there, like it got messed up in the first place. But the debris is already all through the system. And so they say I need to get a new engine. And a used engine would be over $6,000. Oh my gosh, I almost started crying when they said that. I worked this summer so I would have some money saved up and I wouldn't have to worry about money, but all that has gone away so quickly. The four days at the mechanics last week cost $1,000, so I was just like, there's no way. But they said because there's no drivability issues, then that is okay to keep driving on. But at some point there will become issues with driving and that's when I need to get my engine replaced. The good news is that I can get back on the road soonish. I don't know exactly when, I'm hoping tomorrow. And the bad news is that it's just like a, a scary surprise waiting for me somewhere down the road that all of a sudden it's gonna be hard to drive or there's some noises coming from the engine and I'm like, oh gosh, now's the time. Hope I have $6,000 in the bank. That is the story as of now. But that brings me back to my first question. Just things, do things happen for a reason? First, it was the solar panel taking forever to come in, then longer than expected to install. The drive took longer than expected. Now I've been visiting my aunt and uncle for a full week when I just meant to stop in for lunch. All these roadblocks are coming up and I'm just like, is that you? God? Is it the universe telling me like you're not meant to do this like slow down or find something else to do or is it just like I didn't know it took solar panels long to come in the installation was harder than expected I didn't drive late into the night or something or I didn't speed and whatever's happening in my engine was just really complicated because of me forgetting to get an oil change. Tell me what you all think. Do you think in terms of things happening for a reason or just random and I should keep living my van life dreams? Also, if you know about cars, what would you have done? Am I getting scammed from all these mechanics? That's what I think, honestly, because it's so expensive. From the bottom of my heart, seriously, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Hopefully, I'll have some new fun adventures to share with you soon. Bye!